Hi friends, it's Velvet. I am here today. I'm trying some jelly print um, photo transfers. I am not good at this. I've tried a couple and they did not turn out. I think I know what I did wrong. I think I've got to put some more black paint on here. This is the photo that I'm going to try and print. I printed this on a laser printer. Supposedly laser prints work well. For me, they haven't so far, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to put my black ink down with my super duper large new brayer. And I think I'm going to need a lot more ink. <laughs> and you want to do this kind of quickly because you don't want this ink to dry before you get the picture on it. So, now if you put too much ink, all the ink is going to just go onto your picture that you're trying to image transfer. If you put too little, not much is going to happen. Oh, now see, I think I just took off some. All right, let's see if that's enough. Okay. And here's where I have a problem too. I don't know how much to rub this and how long to rub it. We don't want that ink to dry. Well, it may have worked a little. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Now, th now is when you want this ink to dry. There's not a whole lot of ink on here. <laughs> um, you don't want to use an artificial means of drying it. In other words, a heat gun that would ruin your gel plate. You could use a gentle fan to dry it. You could probably go like this to make sure that it dries. I think the lovely lady that's down on the bottom isn't going to come through, and she's the one that I really wanted it to work. So you can touch it to see if it's dry. It does feel dry. So now we choose a color to put on top of that. Let's see, what have we got here? Uh, we don't want to use fluorescent, I don't think. Of course, I've got several fluorescents here. I want to use something kind of light. Uh, let's use this. Just need to make sure that all of that black is off of this rare. don't want to mix those colors. We want this to lay on top of the color. Okay, I don't think it's mixing in, but I do think I need a little more paint. I keep saying ink, and I should be saying paint. But you know what I mean, don't you? It's a very light, very light color. Well, we'll see if it works. Now you want to work quickly here because you don't want that to dry. And here's where you want to smooth out any bubbles. Hopefully we don't get any bubbles. We want to make sure that all of that paint is picked up off of the jelly plate. And you can test a corner. Now, if it works, then that means this will be clear. Or clean, I should say. Okay, sort of worked. I think I'm making some progress. 
and my abilities. Oh, it did work. Yep. Yeah. Um, it would be nice to have a little more of her definition. And I definitely could have used more of this um, Bahama Blue ink or paint. Um, I'm going to keep this because I can do some different things on here. It looks kind of cool. That'd be cool for collages. So that's, you know, that's something that I can try. This one, I think there's enough contrast, but I guess we'll find out. So <clears throat> I still may need more black paint here. That might be too much, but you can always take off black, the black. And I think maybe I might not be working fast enough either. So I can sort of still see through right there. Just a little tiny bit. But you want it even as well, so you don't want big blotches there. And I don't know why that particular spot just really does not want to get covered with the ink. All right, let's get this picture down before this dries. Not enough contrast. You can see him. You can definitely see him. But the background contrast was not good. So, I wonder... You know what we can do? I can pull out a stencil. Because now we're waiting for him to dry anyway. I can pull out a stencil. And maybe use some mark making tools. And... Do some colorful stuff around him. This will be, of course, my very first time trying to do that. Um, let's go with, what should we go with? Shall we try a barn red? Now, this is quick drying, so we don't, we probably don't. Although, you know what? We could use this. <clears throat> Actually, let me grab my small brayer. Make sure it's clean. I'm going to do a little something up here and see if, see if it works. I'm going to do some of this on this side here. And let's just go like this. And see what happens. Okay. Whoa, look at my hand. <laughs> So that's probably going to be pretty cool. Let's see. That's all right. I can always wash my hands, right? Now let's see if we can do anything up here. Maybe do a little mark making. And I've got a little bit of black down there. We'll just go with this and then we've got to wait for that to dry it's supposed to be quick drying but it's funny that's kind of drying a little slower than <laughs> my black did let's put a little bit of blue down here And the reason I can put that down here is because these thin spots where he um, isn't didn't dry. All right, what can we do here? Let's do this. I 
just kind of making some marks here. I don't know if these will go together, these colors, but we'll see what happens. Whoops, I went into his head. That's okay because we have to pick a color to go on top once everything dries. Citron green. That might be fun. Make sure that my brayers are clean. I could use one of the colors from here. Whoops. Love that crimson color. We could use it. No, I was going to suggest the blue, but that might be too dark. So I think. If we go with the citron, and I can tell that that's not all dry yet. And the way I know is because there's still some shiny here, some shiny stuff there. And that sort of indicates that it's still wet. Here, I think we're almost dry, but... That sure does look like a hair right there, doesn't it? Nope, maybe not. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. We'll do this. Because our next step, we don't want the colors to mix. So, see if I've still got a wet spot here. Um, the next is what's going to be the... Um, color that's on the very back of the page and it's going to be what's going to lift the rest of this paint all right it's looking dry so shake this up oh look at that I have not even used this so this is this is good it gives some extra time to dry I think I am just terrible at opening things these days. I don't know if it's my arthritis or it's just me being a doofus. What are you doing over there, Baxter? Okay. Oh, this is very liquidy. That could be interesting. I didn't realize that was that liquidy. It doesn't say it is, but I mean, they're allowed to not say that, right? <laughs> so we want to do this first. Go up and just make sure that nothing's bleeding. And I just don't know. I don't think it is, but I do think I need some more of this. Baxter, what are you doing? Is this ridiculous that you have to hear this in every one of my videos? <laughs> I do feel like I need more. Whoa, that is very liquidy, isn't it? I think it's okay as the bottom color, though, for it to be liquidy like that. All right, now we will... Try and lift this. See what happened, if anything at all. And here's where you want to just make sure that all of that paint's going to come up for you. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, I've just wrecked, I don't know how many pictures. <laughs> it's, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I had some really great prints out of... Um, a magazine, you know, a couple weeks ago, but oh, we're not all up yet. I mean, I've got a few layers on here, but it's bubbling a little bit down here. Now, the video I watched, she used kind of one of the videos I watched, she used something like this. My, what I call my stamping tool. This is from an air, 
hockey machine that I bought. Very cheap. It's not pulling all of it, but I think it's pulling most of it. It's not perfect, but boy, I like those colors together. You can see him. I just kind of wish that I had blown up the picture bigger so that he was big. My video stopped because my battery was going dead. I forgot to plug my phone in. Um, but this is the end result of that. So I'm getting better. <laughs> I love these two colors together. Citron green and Bahama blue. <clears throat> So that's a good sign. We're going to keep trying. We are definitely going to keep trying. Um, I'm going to keep working with this black. All right, I have some pretty pictures in here. All right, here's one I'd like to try. I think that there's enough contrast. I mean, not between her, but her in the background. So we're going to see. Let me get this paint off of my layer here. Give this a good cleaning afterwards. That's funny, it didn't pick that up. I probably didn't have the paint close enough to the edge here to pick it up. All right, here we go with our black. I'm putting an enormous amount down first because I'm just finding that my hand is a little light or something. I wonder if that's too much or it sure does look good. Well, We'll see if that's, if that's too much. We will find out. It's funny because I sit down here to do this and I actually feel like I'm, I'm nervous about it. Why am I nervous about it? It's, it's art. It's not, it's not anything that um, it doesn't matter <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. It just, it really just doesn't matter. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I think a lot of this stuff can be fixed. You know, you add some more paint, you can doodle, you can put some stenciling on there, you know, cut it up, chop it up and make it into a collage. It just, it's not the end of the world if it doesn't go the way, exactly the way you want it to is what I'm trying to say. Um, but still, I want it to be perfect. <laughs> All right, so we are just going to dry that, that part. I think we're getting closer with the amount of the black. I think that's, that's a little more of what matters is that amount of the black that's down there. One little spot that's still a little wet. I don't want to do anything with it just yet. It's looking dry. So I'm going to do, should I, should I just mix these two colors? What should I do? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'll put some of this over here and over here and see what happens. Okay. 
right, get a piece of paper, get it down before it gets too dry, and let's see what happens. <clears throat> It's not a puck, it's a whatever it is <laughs> from the air hockey, whatever you call these things. That's how you shoot the puck. Having these edges, well, oops, we got a little wrinkle here. It is a hair. Well, I guess I added some texture, right? Hmm. We've almost got her. It looks like... Oh, see, that's where her hand is. You can see her fingers. Let's see if I can pull it a little closer for you so you can see a little bit better how that turned out. We got her. You can see her, her sunglasses. It's hard to see her down here, but... Boy, I like the combination of those two colors. That is really nice. So I think I've got to be a little bit more scrutinizing about the pictures that I use. One thing that I did want to do, we got this in the mail the other day. It's just uh, courses that they're offering near, near here or online or something. And it's really nice, glossy paper so I thought maybe I could use some of this. I like this dude. This dude here. So whoopsie boopsie. Let's try him. See those two colors made a really nice turquoise. <laughs> Alright we'll see what happens with this glossy paper. Let's get our black down. I can see I'm going to need to buy some black paint that is this kind of thickness. If this is going to work. Let's see. Well, that doesn't look terrible. It does not look terrible. I think I can see him. This one we definitely want to let dry because his body looks pretty wet. And it's not very solid. So I think I didn't... Um, Oh, you can see a couple of the words in there. Not a lot of them. But kind of cool anyway. What color should we use for this dude? How about Golden Sunset? Or Barn Red? Maybe try the golden sunset. I could do this orange. This neon. Oh, why not? Let's try it. He's not dry yet. I'm trying to shake this bottle of <laughs> paint with my right hand and dry him with my left. And I am definitely not ambidextrous. Husband is. He is a left handed writer, but most everything else he does with his right hand. Like he would pitch with his right hand, he holds a hockey stick with his right hand. Okay. 
there's another one that I did not open. So you know what I think I need to do is um, buy a nice big tube or bottle of a good uh, black acrylic paint. Not, see this is quick drying and I think that's one of the reasons it wasn't working for me. It may have been too thin too. Oh my goodness gracious, I am really struggling with stuff today. Ow, Bax. Yeah, I'm here, hi. Hello, pumpkin. Looks dry to me. So let's see what happens. Okay. Neon orange stuff. We're definitely going to need a lot more of this. <laughs> there we go. I want to try and even it out so there aren't big globs of paint. I want to make sure that there's enough that I can see it. All right, Mr. Painter Guy, let's see how you turn out. So I'm told that Vogue magazines work really well. Um, like a lot of the fashion magazines because they, their pictures and their paper is um, higher quality for exactly that reason, because they're fashion magazines. I've heard that those, oh, this lifted. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Would you look at that? Huh. The words turned out much better than I thought they would. It does appear as though some of that black either wasn't dry or smeared or something, but that's pretty cool, huh? Interesting. So I think, so right here where he's not solid, I think that needs to have more paint down. Now this is clearly wet. A lot of prints come off dry or very or fairly dry. It's just tacky. It's also a shiny. Um, phew. Excuse me. All right, we're gonna try again. We'll do one more, but before we do that, let's pick the picture. Let's choose a picture. She might work. Let's give it a shot. I hope that what's left on here doesn't... Baxter, please stop it. There's nothing you need that's so bad that you need to cry. Kiddo. Mr. Kiddo. Uh-oh. didn't clean my brayer very well. Okay. Let's see what happens here. We may get two prints off of this. And what I mean by that is... She might come through and our painter guy might come through as well. We'll see what happens. All right. I don't know if that's too much paint. I hope it's not too much paint. I hope, I hope, I hope. I've got a little design from the background on her. This could take a while to dry. <laughs> She's going to come through very, very nicely. I think I finally have the right amount of paint. <laughs> How many prints did that take me? Eight, nine? 
Now, what color should we use for her? I know I've got other colors. I just don't know what comes up right. Baxter, please stop crying, honey. I hate to hear you cry, you little pill. We've got, we've got this. Metal red copper. That might look pretty. The barn red would probably look pretty, actually. I think maybe I'll try that. Or should I do the golden sunset? <sighs> that might be more dramatic. That's more subtle. What do we do? Oh, I got stuff all over me. Or all over my handle thing. She's still not dry. I think we'll try the golden sunset. So I get to open this one. Obviously, I got a bunch of these paints at the same time. <laughs> because none of them are open. I'm going to have to use the scissors. I definitely want to make sure that this is completely dry this time because... This one could be the best of them. And I think our painter guy wasn't quite dry when I rolled it out. I mean, I'm not displeased with the painter guy, but that orange color isn't my favorite. I think I would mix it with something, maybe the citron. I don't know. Dry. Let's see. Do you look dry? Just a little shiny right there. I don't want these colors to mix. Apologies if my head is in here. I can touch it and see. she's dry. All right, let's see what happens. That is a lot of paint. I'm well aware of that. I just wanted it to be the way I wanted it to be. Oops, got it rolling off the edge here. Just, it doesn't, well, you know what, it does say golden sunset, so it should be a little more yellow. It's a, just a little bit more yellow than I thought it would be, that's all. I just wonder if I want to... I know it seemed like an awful lot of paint, but I feel like there should be more. You know what I mean? So, go a little bit more. Just, you know, making it a little bit darker of background, really. All right, here we go. I think I'm going to make this my last one. I'm going to go upstairs and clean a little bit. So this is the tool I use with my stamp press when I'm stamping with it. To make sure that all of the stamp is evenly distributed. I don't know if that's the right word. A little bit more, I think. Probably should have used a better paper for this. That's actually really cool. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? I like that.
it's a good place to stop. I may keep practicing. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just do something here. Maybe I'll just try. Just try something. Let's do... Oh, let's put some copper on. can do is I can go like this that could be the start of a good background and then lift this off let that dry and put another layer of a color down something dark maybe it burn red I might look cool with this while it's drying I think maybe I'll look for oh you know what might look good this crimson that I've got in here that might look cool It could take a minute to dry. <laughs> okay. I've got that pretty color. I should have used that. I mean, there's nothing saying I can't use it on the next poll. So, see, I told you I was going to stop, right? <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Oh, for sure, still wet. All right, I'm going to pause. <laughs> 